Chelsea are closing in on Pedro Neto. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Yesterday's video is going to centre around the big breaking news story that has been buzzing around the world of football today. And it surrounds this man right here, Pedro Neto, who is closing in on a move to Chelsea. To say this one came out of the blue would not only be a bit of an understatement, but a bit of a pun as well that I hate myself kind of for saying. But this one literally did come out of the blue. I don't remember a lot of people talking about Pedro Neto this summer. I don't remember a lot of people even linking him with Chelsea this summer. But suddenly, all out of the blue today, it's seemingly happening. It is seemingly happening and Pedro Neto is going to be on his way to switch Wolverhampton Wanderers and Molyneux for Chelsea and Stamford Bridge. We're going to be talking about this deal. We're going to be talking about Chelsea, about Pedro Neto and everything else in between. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things are always very, very greatly appreciated. Get involved in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it. That'll make a great interest in reading, I'm sure. Please do uh, get involved. We'd love to hear from you all. I would love to hear what you have to say on this matter. Use and abuse that comment section at your will, people. Talk to me. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's talk Pedro Neto and Chelsea. To say this one came out of the blue, like I say, would be an understatement. I don't remember a lot of people talking about this. I don't remember a lot of people mentioning Chelsea and Pedro Neto really in the same sentence a lot this summer. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Um, I might just not be in the same kind of circles that these conversations were taking place in. But whatever the case may be, this is in my opinion, is a big signing for Chelsea. This is a big, big signing for Chelsea, in my opinion. And of course, it all dropped from Fabrice Hawkins. And I'll bring up the tweet that David Ornstein puts out, uh, crediting uh, Fabrice Hawkins for breaking this story. He says, Breaking Chelsea reach agreement with Wolverhampton Wanderers to sign Pedro Neto. Fee, 60 million euros, plus 3 million euros is in add-ons. 24-year-old Portugal international set to undergo medical soon before completing transfer from Wolves to Chelsea. The Athletic reports this via Fabrice Hawkins. And that's huge. This is, is a big story. It's a big, big, big addition on Chelsea's part. Because this is a guy that's been attracting a lot of interest now for the past few years. This is a guy that ever since he stepped foot in the Premier League has been m gaining more and more notoriety by the game, by the week, by the month by the year, by the season, whatever you want to call it. This is a guy that has been gaining a lot of interest from other teams and big teams at that. There have been times where the likes of Arsenal's and Liverpool's and even Manchester City's have supposedly been interested in this guy. But it seems that he has landed with Chelsea. What do we know about Pedro Neto? Well, this is a guy who has got all the makings of a quality winger. He is fast. He's got plenty of speed. He's got plenty of flair, skill, plenty of technical ability with dribbling. He's very direct. But most of all, he is very creative. This is a guy that creates the most big chances, I believe, out of any player outside of the top six. And even when you include the top six players in that, he is still up there and competing with the very best when he's playing. This guy is insanely good. 24 years of age, he is going to be a star for Chelsea. Assuming, of course, they can bring in or, or, or maybe bring up to speed a striker that is going to be predominant, that is going to be consistent, that is going to be ice cold in front of goal. Because that's that, in all honesty, and it's not even his fault when I say this, is one of the only two downsides I see to this transfer. We'll get onto the second one later on in the video. But the first one that I think is a major downside is that Chelsea, for me, do not have a predominant striker who is going to be consistent in front of goal. Nicholas Jackson had a better season than what most people gave him credit for last season in terms of at least goal contributions and numbers. But is he that ice-cold finisher in front of goal? Not necessarily. This new guy that they're bringing in, Samu Amarid... Um, oh, I'm going to butcher his name again and I really do apologise. Samu Amaridian? 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 I'm going to go with that and hope it's for the best. Um... 
is a massive gamble. And I said that when I did the video on him a couple of days ago. He's a massive gamble to bring in. Pedro Neto working off them. He's going to give them chances, but it's what it's all about whether he can score or not. This guy creates chances in abundance. He has got 135 appearances for Wolverhampton Wanderers. He's scored 14 goals and he's assisted 24 times. Those numbers could be bumped up if he had a better striker to work with. Now, if Chelsea are going to go out and get in Victor Osimhen, like some journalists are claiming could still be on the cards this summer, that would be a monumental step forward for Chelsea, and it would also fully complete this particular signing. This would be perfect for Pedro Neto to work off. An ice-cold finisher in front of goal, a killer in the final third. This guy and that guy could work together perfectly it could be a match made in heaven for both of those men and for Chelsea in particular and all of a sudden you know Chelsea's my the mindset on Chelsea might beginning to turn a little bit but it's all about whether they can obviously put the two pieces together Pedro Neto for me fantastic player fantastic signing and would be someone that I would be currently sat here right now and a bit jealous of Chelsea that my team of Liverpool didn't try and go out and get. Note the key word, or key words, would be. Because that brings me on to my second point of why I think that this might not necessarily be the perfect, the most perfect signing. His injury record. Unfortunately, his injury record isn't the best. It's really, really not uh, not the best uh, in its entirety. A couple of hamstring injuries last season ruled him out for a large period of the season. He only actually completed um, over just over 1,500 minutes in the Premier League last season. That accumulated to being 20 appearances, scoring two goals and assisting nine times, which isn't bad. It's not bad for overall contributions for the Portuguese winger. But if you're only playing just over half a season, or at least making appearances for just over half a season, that is still a gamble. And it's not just that last season either. It's the season before, it's the season before... This guy and injuries seem to go together as well. And I'm hoping for him, and I would, if I'm a Chelsea fan, of course, I'm hoping that his injury problems are all behind him. But there's no, obviously, way of guaranteeing that. There's no, obviously, way of knowing that until, obviously, he starts playing. It's going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be interesting to find out. It's a big gamble on Chelsea's part, considering he his injury-prone nature. And that's why I think maybe a lot of other teams backed out. Because this is a guy, like I say, who creates chances for fun. And when you would consider some of the teams he would go to, like a Liverpool, like a Arsenal, like a Manchester City, the top three teams that scored the most goals last season, he'd, he'd be scoring goals and assisting goals for fun. At any of those teams. Him going to Chelsea. With all due respect. In the aspect of setting up goal scorers. Would be a sideward step. Because Chelsea. Because Wolves don't really have a predominant striker themselves. Who is going to be ice cold in front of goal. But at this moment in time. Neither did Chelsea. It's a bit of a sideways step. It's a gamble on Chelsea's part because of the injury concerns. But at the same time, it could be massive for, for the Blues. If this is just part of, uh, of a transfer window that will obviously bring in a much more um, consistent striker, this could be huge. The only way that this reaches its full potential and fulfills, it, uh, and fulfills its um, full promise is if Chelsea go out. And they get that ice-cold finisher that is going to bag them 20, 25, 30 goals a season. That's the only way this comes to fruition. Otherwise, Pedro Neto may as well have stayed at Wolves, with all due respect. Or look for a move elsewhere if his injury problems had obviously... Uh, if he'd obviously gotten over the worst of his injury problems. 
that may be brutal, that may be harsh, but at the same time, it's fantastic for Chelsea. It really is fantastic for Chelsea that they managed to acquire a player of this calibre, of this quality, with this much talent. Like I say, 24 years of age, he's still relatively young. It's a lot of money, 60 million euros plus 3 million euros in add-ons. Um, roughly works out to just over 50 million, I think. A lot of money, yes. But for another player who's got creativity in abundance, for another player that's going to be working his socks off down that wing position, whether it be defensively or offensively, for a guy who's got skill, flair, just a direct approach, this will be fun to watch, it will be exciting, but it will also be nerve-wracking because you will be worried and cautious with the back of your mind's memory of this guy's injury prone. That's my one worry, well, my, my second worry of two for Chelsea in this kind of signing. But look, I think it's a massive deal for the Blues. It actually makes a change from players that I have to look up on Wikipedia and even start their own Wikipedia page to find out who they are. Um, Pedro Neto, big signing for the Blues. Obviously, there's a lot more to come. It could reach, for, uh, could reach its full potential later on down the line, of course. But there is still a lot more to come from him, a lot more to come from Chelsea. And I like this signing. I think this is a really good signing. If, if his injury issues aren't going to be um, as frequent, and of course, Chelsea can find the perfect part, uh, striking partner for him to feed those chances to. Those are your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever to call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of this signing of Pedro Neto going to Chelsea? It seems like we are very, very close for this to be done, dusted, and seemingly official. So let me know what you guys are thinking and feeling down below in the comment section. Hit the uh, sorry, uh, uh, hit me with whatever you, you're thinking and feeling. Your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, I'm sure will make for great and interesting reading down below in that comment section. So please do use and abuse the comment section to your will, people, and let me know what you guys are thinking and feeling. Otherwise, hit the like button on the way out. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want new. I want to see more content like this. Both things are always and forever greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video, and I will see you speak to you all again soon in another video or live stream or whatever it may be. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. Speak to you all again very, very soon.